were you with, what you saw from your group, knowing you came out of a week of practice, and did you see the things that you focused on come to fruition? Yeah, no, they, we did a pretty good job overall. That's tough. We've been on the other end of that, too. Um, so that's a tough situation for Cleveland, for sure. Um, they were playing super hard. They were playing really well and kind of ran out of gas at um, only six healthy bodies. So we were able to get up and down and run a little bit, and I thought our defense, for the most part, was pretty good. And that kind of fueled the transition, and then it kind of just uh, fed on itself. Uh, were you surprised at the choice of executed dunk on that break by game? Mm -hmm. He told us he has a lot of bounce. So. <laughs> Is that your first time coaching that in-game dunk? Have you yes. seen that in-game before? No, I don't think so. At least, no, I don't think so. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good display of athleticism. And as far as Daryl, um, any message you had to him post-game, knowing you guys are up pretty big, kind of focusing on the refs? Uh, yes. But I don't know. I was pretty close. So I don't want to say anything inappropriate. So the, the refs had a – it was a tricky game today for sure. Um, but I think without being inappropriate, I, th I think that was a pretty quick one and a pretty first, pretty quick first and second tech on Daryl. So I can't even get too mad at him. After the fact, obviously, it was pretty heated to get two techs and get kicked out of a game. But um, – he was playing well, he was playing hard, and then I think that was a uh, very quick ejection. Kelsey Ryan, Raptors 9 5. Um, text aside, this has seemed like the most fun the team has had together. Would you say that this is the most fun game you've seen them play as a unit? Yeah, winning's always fun, um, especially when you get to play like that with a lot of pace. Um, the, the passing and everybody getting touches gives everybody a lot of energy. And the first unit came out of the gates and right away was zipping the ball around. Everybody was touching the ball. Everybody was moving it. It never really stuck. You had, like, multiple guys with tons of assists. So when the ball's flying around like that, it gives everybody energy and it gives everybody joy. And then the second unit came in and injected a lot of pace into the game on top of that. I thought Tradion did a great job of throwing the ball ahead and he had a bunch of assists in a short amount of time. Um, yeah, 10 assists and 17, 18 minutes. So he was really passing the ball, and, and it just carried over, and everybody started playing the right way. Did you know you were going to play the whole roster today, or was that kind of a...? Uh, the game always dictates it, but, I mean, all 12 players are, are really strong players. Um, all of them could play heavy minutes on any team. So the management, Chad and Luke, and the rest of the management team put together a great team for us. So it's... It's frustrating when guys aren't playing lots of minutes, and you hope everybody can play lots of minutes. So it's always good in night like tonight. Hey, Coach uh, Nicholas Kwan from On Point Basketball. Uh, this was one of the best, if not the best, game your team has had all season. Uh, was this something that you always knew your team had in them, or is this more of a case of them demonstrating their growth? Uh, they put a lot together today. Um, like I said, when the ball moves around, Predictable shots, helps you transition defense, helps with their offensive glass, all that jazz. Uh, a lot of it was, yeah, they played well. And uh, it, it was a big contrast because obviously against the squadron, they're a bottom team in the conference, and then uh, the charge for their top team. What was the message between last week and this week that you feel really resonated with the group today? Uh, I don't look at records in the G League. Um, doesn't really matter who, what the record is because teams change so much night to night. The charge were missing their, the leading score in the entire G League as well as their backcourt may be one of the best shooters in the, the league. On the other side of it, the squadron added Kyra Lewis, who's a heck of a player, and they just went after that and went, went to Maine and beat Maine. So uh, I don't think records matter too much in terms of quality of opponent. It's, it's any given night. You mentioned the team's identity changing. Um, how much do you think or has this group's identity changed with the added size that you guys have gotten over the season? Yeah, I think after one of the Capital City games, we were talking about 86 points in the paint and uh, another bunch on the free throws, and we gave up 22 points in the paint tonight. So big focus has been protecting the paint and pretty much a quarter of what we did earlier in the season. So that's pretty good. Hey, Coach, I'm Matt from the uh, broadcast. Um, I was talking to Jeff about um, 
the three-point shooting, and he was expressing the frustration about how he wanted a few more of them to drop for the last couple of games or so. Um, has that been something that you've uh, been talking to him about, or do you sort of let um, a player of that caliber sort of work through those um, and get three, three tonight, including a couple of big ones? Yeah, I talked to Jeff about that a ton. Um, never about the makes, only about the attempts. Um, I think this is third year in the G League now, and I mean, we had this exact conversation that he can dominate the G League with twos, but if he keeps doing that, he's going to continue to dominate the G League, which is not his goal. His goal is to go play in the NBA. So he needs to show, start shooting eight or ten threes a game and show that he can be a floor spacer at the next level. Um, and still, I, th I think he turned down a couple tonight. And I get it. He's trying to move the ball and play the right way. But at the same time, when the ball swings to him and he's got daylight, he's got to start shooting them. <laughs> No calories. If you like to see the NBA TV Canada, uh, first and foremost, uh, how easy it, it looked like it was pretty easy to acclimate yourself to this group. Was that the sense you got over the week of practice prior to? Yes. Uh, like I told the guys there, I, I thanked them because they did a good job of welcoming me here, just making me feel comfortable. Um, the coaching staff did a good job communicating defensively the terminology and then getting me equipped with the play. So um, everybody, they got like a family oriented. You see how we were all acting on the bench. So I think I fit, fit in here naturally. Have you played with any of these? Oh, sorry, Kelsey O'Brien represented five. Have you played with any of these guys? I haven't. I actually, this is a lot of my first time meeting a lot of these guys a few days ago. So um, like I said, just a natural chemistry. And we continue to build on the best team's peak at the end. Nicholas Kwan from On Point Basketball. Uh, just based on your short time with the team so far, what do you view as your role on this team and where you can make a difference? Um, just uh, being a leader um, and defensively, I'm the oldest guy on the team, so um, they look at me and I got I got told that uh, I'm that older, I got that old guy energy, old man energy, so that's what I'm bringing. And um, just leadership and defensive presence without the fouls. I know. <laughs> Cullen from the broadcast, uh, 10 assists in your debut. Uh, what was what was working so well with you in terms of chemistry with your new teammates? Um, they, they was just getting open, um, and I was making the right read. Sometimes the pocket going to be there, so you trust the pocket, and then we got shooters that's going to set their feet and make shots. So um, I was just doing my job, and they were doing theirs. And you've uh, played pro basketball for a number of years now with a few different teams. Um, obviously, this was a Cleveland team that was shorthanded, but does this kind of win, can this be a, a statement win or a turning point for the season? What's your experience with that? Um, anyone in the G League should be honored. Um, we got, we're going to take it one day at a time, and hopefully we can win Saturday, I think it is. So yeah. just keep building on it. Uh, last one from me, actually. Can you, is there a specific moment that made you fall in love with basketball? A specific moment? Uh, or a specific time period? Honestly, um, my mom had us doing something, so we couldn't just sit around the house. So um, mm -hmm. basketball was a thing that I grew with. And I'm still doing it. Awesome, thank you. Yeah. Uh, first year, Matt from the How you doing? So welcome, welcome back to back to Canada. Appreciate uh, you. How did uh, uh, how did you feel playing back north? Of the uh, it was fun. I mean, I haven't played games in two months, so it felt good being back out there and just being being able to move and play basketball. Um, I've been sitting doing rehab for a long time, so just feel good being back out there. Did your experience that with Hamilton and winning a championship and everything that went into that uh, influence your decision to come back? Uh, yeah, that that played a major role, honestly. Um, like I said, I was just overseas and I played this summer, this whole summer uh, with the Hamilton Honey Badgers, luckily to get a championship. So once I found out that the G League was interested and the Raptors was interested, then I was definitely excited and I was ready to go like ace out. Janet Samuel, ATV News. What was How are you? That? Uh, it was fun. Like I, like I said, I haven't been around that type of experience, uh, atmosphere in a while. Um, like I said, I haven't played. It's been a long time. I'm just happy to be back out here. But the atmosphere was fun. Um, when I was just overseas, the atmosphere wasn't like that. So it just felt good to be back, like in a, with a fun crowd and a, the crowd just, you know, you feed off that stuff. So it, it felt great. Nicholas Kwan from On Point Basketball. Nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, it's the first game of February, which is Black History Month. Uh, what does that month mean to you? I mean, obviously, it means a lot to me. Um, it's that could that could be a long question, but it means a lot to me. Uh, I just 
playing basketball in this month. Uh, I don't really know how to explain it too much, de- like detail wise. But yeah, it means it means a lot, honestly. Without having to say too much, honestly. Next question, please. Um, Kelsey Ryan, representative. How are you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Thank you. Is there a specific moment in time or a specific instance that made you fall in love with the game of basketball? Um, yes. Um, where I'm from uh, wasn't the best place growing up. Uh, and once I finally, like, took my first flight to play basketball and saw that it was, like, so much more life outside of East St. Louis, like, I was sold for it. Like, I literally... I was already forced to play basketball, but once I actually saw, like, the perks that comes with it and how my life can change, once I, like, take it serious and the people that was, like, influencing me to play, that's what – it changed seventh grade, seventh grade. I remember, I'll never forget. Thank you. Nicholas Kwan from On Point Basketball. You had a great game as usual, Reggie. Uh, I think your best – sequence was in the third quarter where you had that put back dunk and then nine seconds later you got that block where, where does that energy come from is it just from relishing in uh the matchup or what was it um uh, i mean i guess it has to do with the matchup we knew they number one in the league um also we had like five days off um without just being able to play a game so of course we was going to come out of here with a, with a lot of energy and stuff like that and i feel like we started off the game um pretty energetic and it's just contagious to just carry it over into um, until the second half. It was a great bounce back win from last week. Uh, what was the area of focus um, for the team? And what, and what did you clean up in those five days? Um, just communicating better. <coughs> um, just playing, trying to like move the ball a little bit more. Just um, locking in on the scout report and stuff like that was the biggest thing. You guys got the ball out of Mobley's hands. He had nine points within the first like, six minutes. He had nine points the rest of the way. How were you guys able to make such a quick and effective adjustment? Um, really, it was kind of easy. We knew that he he's one of their best players. Um, we threw a lot of things at him. We doubled him. Um, we tried to force him to turn over. We tried forcing him, forcing him to get out of his hands. Um, um, that was the biggest thing, and we all played well um, together, helping each other out when we were guarding him. Reggie Matt Cullen from the uh, 905 Broadcast. Uh, five wins now in the last uh, six games. Uh, there's been a lot of roster turnover. Uh, what do you think of the new team chemistry here you have with some of the new guys? Yeah, I mean, it's great. Those guys, the two guys that came in, um, Jay Till and um, TD, they both came in hungry. They both came in trying to um, just trying to fit. They both fit in right away. Um, they both do a good job of picking up things. Um, you know what I'm saying? And they're good basketball players. Um, and it's good to get on the streak, five out of six, you said. Um, it's, it's really good for us. Now, uh, we know that uh, beating a team twice is pretty tough, and they're nine and three. Uh, they are shorthanded, so we'll see what they look like on Saturday. But uh, yeah. how, how do you make sure that uh, they leave with no wins uh, in Mississauga? Um, just stay locked in. Just um, dig in even more in the scouting report, dig in even more. I mean, we had a great shoot around today before the game um, this morning. Um, and just trying to just build on top of that and just have another great shoot around before – uh, Saturday's game is the biggest thing. So um, we know that we know the guys that are coming, and we were prepared for them tonight. Um, so we're gonna be prepared for them on Saturday too. Uh, this was probably uh, the best game of the season for the entire team. Uh, do you feel that they've always had that in them, or is this more of a demonstration of growth across the team? Is it- yeah, I mean, we feel like we've always had it. We, we're a really talented team, um, but like you said, it's a demonstration of growth. Um, we all growing together. Um, like I said, early in the year, it's going to take a minute um, to get to know each other, um, and we're going to continue to get better. And as you see, like you said, five out of six um, <clears throat> shows it. Um, Chris Lodimichopoulos, ATD News. Today you guys played a lot of selfless basketball. How important is that to continue on for the rest of the season? Oh, it's very important. It's important any time on any team. Um, it's the biggest thing. I feel like that's why we, <laughs> that's why we, I feel like that's why we play so well uh, today, just by moving the ball um, really, really well. Uh, it's the biggest thing, but it's very important. So we're in life into 2023. Has Gabe Brown kept the New Year's resolution that you made for him? What was his name? Play defense? Yeah. No, and I don't want to hear anything about Gabe Brown. Like <laughs> that dunk was the, that could have happened to the worst person. We're gonna hear about that for the rest of the year. We're hear about that for 2024. I don't want to hear nothing about Gabe Brown for the rest of the year. That's my dog, but it's over with. <laughs>
Right. <laughs> TV news. Um, after the last loss, you said we'll be ready for the next. Uh, mm -hmm. Did that kind of fuel you guys' fire today? It definitely did. Um, after that game, we had a couple of days to get some rest, and then we had three hell of like three great practices. So um, we was prepared and locked locked in mentally before this game even started. Um, so I feel like that attributed to the the win today. So just gotta uh, go regroup and come back and do it uh, again. What Saturday? Because um, I know they gonna come out firing. You know, teams like that always do. Birmingham was a prime example. So we just gotta be prepared. Nicholas Kwan from On Point Basketball, it felt like the team was playing more together than ever tonight. Uh, was there something that you guys did to bond in the past five days, or did, did it just all come together today? No, nah, I just uh, came together. We took, you know, the opportunities that the defense gave us, um, and, you know, we just played basketball. Um, you know, wasn't nobody really going out forcing nothing. Um, everybody was just, you know, in the rhythm. Uh, like I said, we had some great practices, so it was uh, it was just a good game for us overall. And I'm starting to see some growth from like Jeff, who's becoming a better decision maker, um, and then and, and a bunch of other guys are just getting better. Do you feel that this win, in this win, um, you've always had it in you to play this way, or is this more of a demonstration of growth? Nah, it's it's both. Uh, it's both. We always got room to grow, um, no matter how you know talented or you know good, you know somebody might think you are. Um, it's always room to grow, but at the same time, we got a lot of talent. Uh, we got a you know good coaching staff. Um, so really, everything is just coming together. Um, I wasn't here early on, so I really can't you know. Um, comment on that you know how the team was before but um from when I came in you know I seen we had great talent so um it was just putting that together and you know everybody being on the same page you go out and get a win that's really what it's all about that's how you win you know everybody being on the same page from top to bottom um and you know it's, it's coming together Matt Cullen from the uh, Raptors on FI broadcast uh, 12 rebounds for you tonight that's three off your career high um, it seems like you're able to sort of fit in wherever the missing piece of the puzzle is, whether it's points or three-point shooting, and tonight it was rebounds. Uh, how much have you spent time uh, developing that versatility in your game? Um, I always, you know, had that knack to, to go get the ball. Um, you know, whether it was offense or defense, just go get a rebound, and, you know, that way you get involved in the game a little bit. Um, <clears throat> and I like to, you know, um, push the ball, push the pace off misses. Uh, so, I mean, what better way to do it, you know, going to get the ball yourself than bringing it up and, you know, finding a, finding a teammate or making a play. Um, I was moving a little fast today after I got the rebound or I was, you know, just trying to do too much. But, you know, getting the rebound, it, it allowed me just to get in the game, um, find other guys and, you know, you know, it was a successful day for me, um, you know, scoring, but not scoring, but, you know, everything else. Uh, and to get the win, it was great. And, uh, we've asked a couple of your teammates here about, about that Gabe Brown dunk. Uh, have you ever seen anything like that? Oh, no. Were you surprised? That he I was definitely that? surprised. When I first seen him attempting it, I'm like, man, you better not miss it. And then when he <laughs> when he made it, uh, it was it was, it was was great. You know, it was great um, for somebody like that to, you know, get that type of uh, – you know, um, shine and just to get something like that, it's definitely a confidence booster. Um, and, you know, we're not gonna stop hearing it though. We're we gonna hear it for the rest of the year. Reggie just Yeah, we not not with GB. And uh, last one for me is I uh, see so you were here uh, just around the turn of the year. You went off to Los Angeles, but now it's just won five of the last six. Have you seen a little bit of a difference in terms of? Uh, the mentality, the confidence level um, since you've been back? Um, yeah, I have. Um, you know, the roster didn't change a little bit. Um, it's new guys coming in. And, um, you know, I'm not – like I say, I can't speak on what they what the team was doing before, but um, a lot of guys are holding each other accountable now. Um, and the coaching staff are holding us more accountable. Um, and, you know, we, we perform it, and, you know, and that's what it takes uh, to be successful in this league, in this game, and to be a pro. Um, you know, you got to just go out and do your job and, um, you know, be able to take constructive criticism, take the good with the bad. And um, I feel like we're growing off that each and every day. Um, like I said, we had a great week of practices. Um, we learned from our mistakes. We learned from our tough losses, like the second one in Birmingham, but um, – or against Birmingham. But, you know, uh, I feel like we're definitely getting better. <laughs> Amazing game. I just want to say, how long have you been waiting to attempt a dunk like that in game? Uh, for a while now, but um, that's not my first time. I did it in high school before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, both Reggie and Matt, thank you so much for 
Reggie and Sterling said that they are going to be hearing about that dunk until the end of time. Is that true? Like, I mean, I guess so. You just brought up your high school one. So. Uh, yeah, especially Reggie. <laughs> Reggie's going to be hearing it for about a month now. <laughs> for about a month. Okay, Janet Samuel, ATV News. Uh, you guys bested them 40 to 16 in assists. How much more easier and fun is the game when you guys are moving the ball like that? Um, it's, very, it's very fun, especially uh, Reggie did a good job of just passing the ball all, all through the game. So. It felt good for him to just pass it, and he was getting it back and scoring. So when everybody's scoring, everybody looked good. I mean, it make the coaches look good, then everybody else get to perform better and better. Matt Cullen from that broadcast. Um, both these teams had uh, long layoffs. Uh, how did you guys make sure that you were the fresh group uh, right from the start of this one? Um, guys just uh, prepare as, as like they normally do, go in every day, get shots up, uh, work on mobility, do some lifting, things like that. Guys didn't really take a day off, so it was very good for us to just stay in shape. Then we had a couple hard practices, which led us to this t win tonight. All right. And uh, did you see uh, Jeff uh, Dalton's reaction after your, uh, your dunk? Have you had a chance to see that? Nah, I ain't seen it. <laughs> I ain't seen it. How, how, what, 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 did people, uh, what did people say to you when you got back to the, the bench? Uh, they said I ain't had that, and I do got that. I do got that. <laughs> Nicholas Kwan from Long Point Basketball. Is there something about you that makes it harder for your teammates to celebrate your achievements? Oh, what you mean? What you mean? Like, they're all like, oh, man, we're going to hear about it all day. Or like for the oh, because I'm always talking. Yeah. I'm always talking. I'm positive. I'm always dancing. You feel me? Just myself. So they're going to hear this dunk for about a month now. For about a month. Um, since the beginning, before pregame, the layup line was just dunk after dunk. There was so much energy. What was going on in the locker room before the game? Or like, what's your go-to hype song in the locker room with the team? <laughs> uh, I just want to rock by Lil Uzi. That's my favorite song right now. But um, no, nah, it's just myself. I'm just being myself. I like to have fun. I like to be positive. I'm never just down. I mean, I get to play this game every day, so I'm happy just to play. So I'm gonna just enjoy my time here and just go out there and just have fun.